This is Mr. Omar again and this is part two of my Game Maker tutorial. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the space in which the game is played, the level if you will. Now there are two parts to this, one is the background and the other is the room. Now we actually need to start with the background and a good way to think of a background is like it's like a sprite for a room. It's not an actual room itself, it's just the clothes that it's going to be wearing. So. We create a new background, I right clicked and then created and I'm going to load one and again I'm going to the folder where I've put all of the examples. Let's see what we've got, oh that'll do. Okay, so let's choose that. So that's our background called background one. Then I'm going to create a room. So right click on room, create room. Now I'm just going to maximize that window. Oh and it's gone, I must have minimized it. That was fairly foolish. Okay, room 2, there it is. So, here it is, I'm going to click on background tab and I'm going to have a foreground image which is background 1. There we go. And so that is the background of that room. Now that grid is there while we're building the game but you won't actually be able to see it during the game. So, that is my room. I can in fact change the size of the room. As you can see it's 1024 wide and 600 high. I could change that, I could change the name of it. For now I'm just going to leave it as it is, although I don't really like the, the look of it. So there's my space. If I wanted it wider, for instance, I could make it 2000 across. 2000 width and then I click on the tick to save it. So there you go. I have put a background in and I have created a room. 